I want to teach about like I want to I want to go over wholesaling because I haven't taught about that in a while. And uh, I don't know if is there anybody here that has heard of wholesaling put into the chat or has not heard of wholesaling just like I have no idea what this is, you know, let me let me know. I'd love to know, has anybody actually wholesaled anything before? So in real estate investing, there is like a niche, there's a niche where you can basically be the middle person between the buyer and the seller. This is not being a realtor, right? A realtor is where you go and get a license and, you know, from the state, and then you are able to, um, you're able to be the person between like you, the person between the buyer and the seller. And you do that like through a license wholesaling and, and some states, um, some states do not allow this, but really almost all of them do. And uh, really wholesaling is, is holding, is holding equitable trust in a property and then being able to find somebody to buy it. So you can really be the middle person. And so I want to get into that because there's a lot of people out there that really they want to invest in self-storage, but they don't really have a lot of money in order to do that, right? If you're one of those people, just let me know. It's not a big deal. I wholesale self-storage all the time. When I first got into real estate investing, I wholesale property, you know, because I didn't have a lot of money either, you know, so um, wholesaling is a great way for you to make money in real estate and uh, just be, and uh, you know, without having any money, without having money to buy a property, okay? And what's really good about wholesaling commercial property is that um, you can wholesale any type of commercial property. In fact, you can wholesale any property at all. So residential houses, you can uh, wholesale um, commercial property like, you know, buildings, you can wholesale self-storage, you can also wholesale land, right? They call it, they just call it flipping is what they do. So a lot of times when you hear like flipping land or flipping commercial property, that's just wholesaling is what it is, flipping real estate. So, um, so I want to kind of get into that and just give you guys an idea of what you can do. Now, the same concepts go for finding facilities in, uh, you know, on the acquisition side. There's there's no difference between finding a facility as a wholesaler and finding a facility as a buyer, right? The end result is that you, if you find a facility, if you talk to an owner and the owner wants to sell, then essentially you just find somebody to buy that property instead of you buying that property. All right, that's what wholesaling is. So let's kind of get into let's kind of get into it. Now before we get started, um, let me know if you're new here. This is your first time. I'd love to uh, I'd love to meet you. So introduce yourself in the chat. And then also uh, let me know if you own a storage facility. I'd love to know that. In the meantime, in case my daughter comes in, so I am by myself tonight, just so everybody knows, my husband, Pete, who is my partner, uh, not only in life, but also in the storage business, he has been from Tuesday until Saturday, he has been at um, all of our storage facilities. We own, not all of them actually, but like a couple of them. So we own 13 facilities across Georgia and Florida. We live in Tallahassee and he went to... Um, we just closed on a facility like not last week, but the week before in the fund. It's a really great deal, but it needs a lot. It's a severely mismanaged facility. In fact, we got 171 units, 25,000 square feet for only $375,000. That property, once it's fixed up and up and running, is valued over $2 million dollars. And on top of that, it is worth, uh, it is, it's on six acres. So there's enough room to, to expand. And it's in a major city in, uh, in Georgia. It's in a, it's in a city of, of almost 200,000 people. So essentially what we did is we bought the ugliest storage facility in the city is what we did. And the owner just really ran it, was running it to the ground. And he told us, he's like, I'm just not doing it. Really, I'm just not. I like. I need to get rid of this thing. It's just not a good deal. And we're the type of people. Oh, there's only certain people that will buy something like this. It needs like hundreds and of thousands of dollars worth of work. And there's no bank that's going to finance that at all. So you either essentially need to get the owner to uh, finance it, or you need to you know pay cash for it. And we just paid cash is what we did. 
and it it's going to cost us a couple hundred thousand dollars to fix it up. It's the perfect facility for our fund. And so we just closed on that like two weeks ago. And so Pete, like all last week and all this week has been really kind of focusing on trying to get that thing up and running. It's not have it does not have any income at all. Nothing has like makes does, it's he said he makes a thousand dollars a month. And also there's somebody living there as well, too. He said today he called me today. He's like, well, we got somebody living here. And so she came out of like one of the units. She came out and she was like, she introduced herself. To, she introduced herself to my husband. It was like, because my husband was there trying to figure out the guy, like the guy that owned the place beforehand, he spent all his money in like all the wrong places. He spent it on like a, an amazing like security system, right? So like the place is totally secure. I don't know how somebody like lives there, but like there's cameras everywhere. And he also did like this brand new, like there's a brand new kind of like locking system for storage, you know, where like you can lock at the unit. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this before, but you can lock at the unit. So uh, like if they don't pay, then this, the, the, the computer system will lock the door at the unit. And th this has that. And a lot of the a lot of the units, but not all the units. So he started he was trying to do that, but then in the end he ran out of money. 